All right, did you know that today is National Hot Chocolate Day? And if you're in the Northeast where Winter Storm Orlena is doing its thing, it may be the perfect day to just curl up with a nice cup of cocoa and just sit back and watch the Weather Channel. But unfortunately, our warming climate is melting the growing season for the main ingredient of your favorite drink, cocoa. Nigel Sizer with the Rainforest Alliance joins us now with some perspective. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, while most of us think about climate change, we think about obviously the warmer temperatures, but you say it's more it's really more than that when it comes to the cocoa crop can you explain well most of the world's cocoa is produced by small farmers living in west africa and indonesia and they are really on the front lines of climate change kelly what they're suffering from is is longer dry seasons heavier rains the warming climate and that impacts the way that the cocoa plants grow and Significant areas of land where cocoa has been grown by these small farmers are now unproductive. So what would be the ideal weather for the cocoa crop to grow and thrive? Well, think about a lowland tropical rainforest. That's the kind of environment that cocoa thrives in, that, that humidity, steady rain spread throughout the year, a short, drier season. And with climate change, what happens is the dry season gets longer, you get heavier rains, it's less predictable, and it's hotter as well. And when it gets hotter, that also impacts the plants and they don't grow so well. So the farmers really suffer from this. Yeah, and it's not just the crop, right? Cocoa farmers themselves as well. How is climate change impacting them? Well, it impacts them because less cocoa grown, harder time growing the cocoa means they have less income. And a lot of these farmers are quite poor to start with. So that's a lot of what Rainforest Alliance is working on. We're helping these farmers, hundreds of thousands of them, to adapt and deal with climate change by changing the way that they're using trees, planting more trees, more composting, better management of the soil and so on, so that the whole system is what we call more resilient to climate change. And people who are thinking, oh, this doesn't really affect me, but if we enjoy chocolate, like they, I think most of us do, it obviously will affect us in the pocketbook down the road if we don't do something, right, to help with these challenges. Well, it could. It impacts the industry, but the, the biggest impact is on these farmers themselves who are really struggling day to day already often to make ends meet. So it's really critical that people understand us, that we all work together to try to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and support efforts to combat climate change. All right, Nigel Sizer with the Rainforest Alliance. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your input on that.